was a tiny little shack right off the side of the highway. Um, it wasn't really known as the love shack, but more the pain shack. And because of the super, super hot chicken that Rocky serves at his restaurant, it's kind of gained a little bit of a cult following. Rocky's went away in its first carnation. It went away for about, I don't know, a, about a year. And then due to popular demand, he had to reopen in this bigger, better, badder place over here off of Patton. So we're gonna go inside and find out if the chicken's anywhere near as hot as it used to be in Arden. So come with us. Hey. Hello, Mackenzie, how you doing? Good, thanks, how are you? I'm good, good. I'm good. What's going on? Well, I'm looking forward to trying some of your double X hot chicken. It's pretty hot. It's yep. pretty hot. I eat it myself every now and then, but I can't do that all the time. It's yeah. pretty, pretty rough. On on the stomach. A little rough it's on the rough tummy. in a lot of ways. It's definitely the sort of thing that if you're going to eat it today, you probably don't want to have a date the next day. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> right. So uh, <laughs> leave it at that. But. Yeah. What well, can you tell us a little bit about what makes it so hot? Can well, you... uh, ghost chili. Yep. That's all I have to say about the extra hot. It's mm -hmm. ghost chili. My sauce is an oil infused with a bunch of different spices and it's pretty hot. It gets up there. Yeah. But there's a big jump from like if my hot is a 90%, there's a there's about 120%, you know, with the uh, the extra hot. Can we uh, take sure, a look in the kitchen? Back, all right. Back. I'll show you what's going on. It's big big juicy pieces of chicken. Big old hunks say. of chicken. <laughs> and even back here, you kind of it kind of gets in your lungs, huh? It gets oh, in your oh, sinuses. It's you all over. <laughs> I'll tell you the funniest thing, we've got the sauce, which has yeah. got the secret ingredients in it. Then we also have a dry version of the secret ingredients uh -huh. here. It gives us a little more control, like if we need to beef it up a little bit. Right. And you'll see they do that. What we learned real quick back here with all this heat, uh, when you're sprinkling all that, we don't realize it, but it gets in our arms. And by the time you're driving home in your car, and you know, all these eggs see your arms are on fire. And you don't yeah. even see the stuff in your pores. It's really amazing. Since so the time I was 15, I've been a professional musician. And mm -hmm. then in 94, I got an audition with a country who was a, at the time was a big country star, Lori Morgan, and she got me on the road and, and about three months into that she literally came on our bus, the band's bus, because she had her own bus and pulled up and opened up one of these to-go boxes and it's this dark, blood, maroon looking piece of chicken. She goes, do you like hot stuff? And I'm like, I guess, and I was wrong. <laughs> she peeled off a piece of that and gave me one bite and I immediately had that reaction where I was sweating. The back, the hairs on the back of my neck were standing up, and I was just, and I loved it. I was so you were So, drove my wife crazy in the kitchen for about three months, just trying to figure out something close to what they were doing. Not to steal the recipe, because they would never give up their recipe, and I would never ask. Right. But something similar, and one day, this combination of oil and different spices and stuff, and I was whipping it up, and I dipped some bread in and took a bite, and I looked at my wife and I went, I don't know if it's what they're doing, but it tastes damn good. So I brought a friend over, he tried it, and the rest is, it, just a few months later, I said, I think I'm going to give this a shot because I think there's a lot of people that are going to be, that will be, it's such an addictive thing to me. Yeah. And I really still talk about it as a fan. All right. Well, are you ready to get us hooked? Absolutely. What do you have planned for us? I've got some wings, and I'm not going to tell you how they're going to be sauced and spiced just yet. It's going to be something that you'll climb the ladder, so to speak, I think. And, okay. Uh, and uh, there's going to be some uh, challenging wings, to say the least, in there. And Sounds great. All right. Ready for a challenge. Okay. You got it. <laughs> 